Here we are, jewelry rendering tutorial with Blender Cycles X 3.2. Okay, bye bye, default cube. Delete. Bye bye, light. Delete. File, import, object. This hearts and volumes ring that I designed a couple of days ago. Go check out the drawing video, it's pretty cool, and also the tree design modeling tutorial. All right, so here we have this magnificent ring, and now there's one thing you should know. If you've been making jewelry design and jewelry rendering for a very long time, that the metal shader, the gemstone shaders, the lighting in the scene, all of these basic things, we know that we mastered that and they don't matter. There are many softwares out there capable of making realistic gemstone and metal renders and that's really the easy part so the problem is not about your metal shader or your gemstone shader it's about what's around the ring and you can do that in a realistic way that generally ends up being a perfect white background which is the most boring thing that you can do in this life because honestly you must admit that if you're making white background renders we all perfectly know that your renders are going to be used in an online shop and you're going to end up just like anyone around the globe setting up their online jewelry shop and there's no way you're going to stand out so okay so i understand maybe you don't care about standing out maybe you don't care about being an artist but at least once in your lifetime all right so what we must do is create something attractive around the ring. Let's get started. Add mesh circle 200 vertices radius 3. Who cares? Center 0. Make it bigger. Bigger. Okay. Save. Edit mode. F. Extrude on the Z axis somewhere here. A. Normals outside. Exit edit mode. Control A. All transforms. Bevel modifier. Whatever works. Two segments. That's pretty nice. Let's put a material to that. Let's call it leather for now. We'll see that later. Let's go at viewport display. And let's put something black. Okay, save. Now let's do a shift D. Edit mode. Frame view Z. Alt A, B, delete those vertices, face mode, select the big face, delete only the face, vertex mode, A. We're going to make a small border, extrude, S, extrude and enter or click or whatever, and let's make a border. A, let's make it G, Z a bit lower, Z, oh sorry, 
extrusion on the z-axis somewhere here will be fine exit edit mode this will be a new material let's call it rock let's do it a bit lighter and you know what edit mode a vertex normals outside okay so we got this let's remove the floor for a second this is nice okay now the camera angle somewhere here so let's go at l control zero let's go obviously at the clipping distance put a high number right there so moving the camera here and let's admit that this and that they're too big so let's do an s and actually i'm going to make that smaller than the ring okay let's have a look at this from closer okay because i still want to be able to see viewport display of the camera big i want the camera a bit closer I want to be able to see the ring pretty well. Okay, angles. Mm. Let me check this rotation a bit less here. Let's go to 58. Okay, somewhere here. This is pretty good. Okay, let's sweep the camera. Now, oh, let's take this friend. So the shift T. Let's make it bigger. Somewhere. That should be pretty fine. Okay, anyway, from this, I just want the interior circle. So let's go with control there control i delete vertices okay a g z which come here let's make an extrusion on the z axis there soon f let's do control i extrusion and let's make that bigger. Okay. Let's take this. Make an extrusion. S. Like this. But check that the Z stays flat okay a mesh normals outside okay now this is going to be another material the roundings okay let me change the color just a bit to something like that now from view make a shift d R 180 degrees G Z okay here I'm going to go to top view and I'm going to select I'm going to select this erase it run view okay so on that side is too much i'm going to remove some of the points on left 
So this set by example won't be good for animation. Okay. It's going to be good for a render. Delete this side. Okay, so we have that with some distance right there. Okay, we have this. Now to edit mode let's check let's check the scales okay now here i'm going to take this alt a i'm going to take i'm going to select the small circle here and i'm going to extrude it on the z-axis here f to close down there forget right there okay so we have this so now we need to work on the lights and the materials okay now let's check what happens with a square resolution like this select the camera and move it closer remember we want the ring okay this is pretty good now we want some more details here and there Let's take this friend. Let's take this. Shift G, enter key selection. Let's select this border that we extracted. Edit mode A. Top view, extrusion S. Keep it centered. A, extrusion here. A, mesh, outside, normal. Okay, so everybody needs smooth shading, smooth shading, smooth shading, smooth shading, smooth shading. Now this border to copy it on Z, move it maybe here and once more down there okay now down here edit mode select this face make an inset somewhere here now extrude that on the z-axis so the depth depends now inset again here let's make an extrusion on the z-axis but now we're going to go up and this is pretty nice okay now we're going to do here we're going to select all these bottom faces right here let's make a shift d click key selection and that circle we extracted edit mode a extrude it somewhere here okay now the secret here is that this is going to be a neon light right here We'll see the colors later, just change the display, maybe bluish, maybe not bluish, we'll see it. Okay, we have this. Now this light, shift D in object mode, move it on the Z axis and put it from view to this mid level right here. Okay, put origin to geometry and make it bigger bigger go there on z not that big uh, let's go here okay so this is just a concept for now uh maybe you know what maybe not. okay so this is what we have Okay, so this is just an idea. We need to work on the materials, on the lights, on the environment, on details, on imperfections, etc., etc., etc. 
Okay, let's do a uh, render preview right here to see what we have for now. So this is what we have. Everything is gray and dull. It needs more life, obviously. Let's start with the materials. Let's go to shading. We don't have light, but today I want to start with the materials. <laughs> okay, so everything is gray and dull and not very attractive obviously we have done nothing with the colors and materials and lights okay let's find any hdri environments okay so now the pink is very nice we all know that that's a missing image in blender obviously we need to load one and uh let's go to the internet so Everybody should know Polyhaven. Don't forget to donate if you use this website. It's been around for years and they're great. So we need an HDRI and because I love to create new moods, new lights, new effects and all of that. Well, let's use an HDRI from here. So anybody can use the same one because I know that people love creating the same scenes as I do. And well, it's never easy to know which one is going to work. Hmm. But I think uh, we're going to go with this one. Christmas Photo Studio. Amazing. So download the XR 4K, that's the least you can do nowadays. Let's download. Here's downloading, okay. Let's go back to Blender, let's open. Let's go to the download folder and here's is the Christmas Photo Studio. Here we are, okay. So now we have some lights and everybody can do what I do in this video tutorial and have a lot of fun learning and doing stuff with me and cyclics and planning and joy and 3D art. All right. Now let's go to shading. Okay, so let's start. Uh, here we have yellow gold. Uh, yellow gold, we need metallic one, specular one, roughness point one. Okay, the color is a good time to tweak it now. Okay, and maybe this one here. Okay, that's pretty good. All right. At once, set the light path. Let's go at 32. Let's go at 46. 46 for everybody. Select everybody. 46. Uh, the more you use, the better we can say. And what regards what we do. Okay, so. Here, by example, I can already say that I don't like the HDR that we have. Why? Because if you look at the ring, you don't have very strong light and you don't have very strong shadows. And that's bad for jewelry. It's too dull. Okay. So let's erase this with shift. Let's make a file, clean up everybody. Let's save. Let's go back to the internet. Let's find. And so you know what we're looking for. Okay, so maybe here we need something that had, we need something that has more contrast. That's what we want. That's what I want now. 
and uh, but I want a picture that I haven't used before and uh, okay so let's try this brown photo studio XR 4k so here by example so you know about the right the CCO okay so the CCO is something that gives you quite a lot of freedom and you don't even have to give credit or attribution but honestly we all appreciate when you give proper attribution when you're using files like these so here's the author Sergey Majboroda and if you're going to use this commercially you should for good ethics and for the good of your own for the general good give back to people it always comes back to you so this is just my general way to show you that if you use something give back it'll be good for you it will be good for the author and everybody is happy this is the best way to make the world work in any sense at any level big or small and it's a better way of life all right okay let's go back to blender let's load this new right here and i'm already happier this is just the beginning but right away we can see strong shadows stronger lights that's nice okay uh something that i'm going to remove the tint on the specular let's go at zero for better practice so we're good with the gold now we have some gemstones around here so tourmaline roughness zero specular one transmission one ior 172 alpha zero beware of the alpha sometimes when you import some files like objects into blender the shaders they have by default might be quite weird like the alpha was at zero that's why we don't see the gemstones even if they're right there in front of us okay now this is going to be a color sapphire let's go at 185 by your origins mission one alpha one roughness zero specular one and the color of these friends uh, something uh, stronger okay this is pretty good now we have some dimes in now we have some diamonds here and there just a couple this ring is really cool because i used some interesting gem cells but not too many and this is way more realistic for manufacturing at accessible levels normal levels okay so roughness zero specular one 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 uh, i are two four one eight transmission one and alpha one so here are the diamonds this is pretty nice for now okay so just to begin with the basics okay now let's create our own materials like i always say the best is to take your own pictures okay so i'm going to start bringing some concrete images so let's go to my textures and let's see what i can find i have a bit of everything <laughs> sometimes too many skies but there should be some cracks some concrete but i want some concrete cracks okay 
for a marble, but that's for later. Okay, this is great. Let's take this one. So obviously, um, it won't work for all the objects. Now, maybe this guy has already some UV. Let's erase the UV. Okay. What? Okay, so let's start also adding some texture coordinates for the mapping. With box, okay, this works generally. Obviously, we need to adapt reach object. Okay, on the z-axis, so let's add a vector mapping. On the z-axis, I need less. Let's go point 0.1. Okay, point 0.3, point 0.2. Okay, to begin, that's, that's all right to begin with. Now we need some bump of this. Let's go to normal, add vector bump, height because it's just an image, strength at point three. Okay, now we need some ambient occlusion right here. Let's go distance of 25. Okay, it's a bit better. Um, only the bump for this now. Okay, so what I'm seeing is that the top part, I want a other material. So surroundings. Up. So I'm going to load some different image. I think with less cracks, maybe something rusty or some rocks. This should be pretty good. Let's have a look at this. Okay, now the size of that. Let's try to, obviously it's not a seamless texture. Bam. Okay, we could try three on X, even four, as long as we don't see any line. Okay, let's go four for everybody. One on Z. Okay, that's still pretty good. Now, this friend is going to have that new material surrounding top okay so uh this is neon light so obviously this is affecting a bit i think i'm going to make that bigger we're going to make that bigger so we don't see it we don't see the other so we don't see the object bigger okay this is pretty nice and i don't know if i want to fill the entire zone we'll see about that because this is going to be a light emitter neon light okay let's go back to basics so these are all general proceedings okay this border at that level i don't like it So, but why, why, okay, I know why. <laughs> okay, so here, let's go to UV editing, select everything, and let's try 
maybe just a smart UV project. Okay, basic settings. Then here, constraint to bounds, scale to, to adapt to the entire image. If possible, this is just to see if it works better. So here, uh -huh. Okay, let's go to UV for these. So if it's going to be UV, we need the flat projection. And this is what we get here. I don't think that it's better, but what I see is that I have, okay. I don't like this amount of, I don't like this amount of bevel. So let's remove some and let's have a look at Auto smooth shading. Uh, zero point two maybe. Okay, but that doesn't suit at all the UV projection or any kind of projection okay, for this part of the object. So this means that. Okay, I'm going to make the UVs for this object. Let's go at uh, cube projection. This one, maybe this one too. Let's try a cube projection here. Now that one had better changes with this one. This one had better chances with this one. Okay. So on this side, I'm starting to like it. Yes, but bigger here or smaller. I think smaller. Okay, at two, it's working pretty well. I just need to see. Okay, it's obviously not a seamless texture. Let's go at 175 okay if we can rotate this is pretty good but here I like something with less chaos in the image something cleaner so let's have a look at Something interesting like this. Okay, and this one, let's bring it maybe at three. Five. Okay, so with the rotation, let's see if we can place a line. Okay, there's one there. Let's see if we find a specific rotation where the lines are not too bad. Or maybe, maybe let's go at something very high here. Like it one. Okay. This is pretty good. We'll work on some details a bit later. Here I don't like the proportion. It's too even still. Um, this is pretty nice. Uh, 
what are we using here generated is this another one no, this is the same one let's go at uv for these people so this one we're going to try a new projection we're going to rotate that and scale that something easy keep the proportion now here we're going to go at a smart projection okay also scale don't forget to scale inbound move and adjust and shading so we obviously need to change the projection to flat and this is pretty lovely we have some lines here and there but maybe with the depth of field okay let's try everybody at five and that's a lot nicer now about the colors this is top and this is the same as that one but funny things it is that it gets another color and i don't like that other color that's right we're moving this or let's try okay i have a new idea let's remove that and let's go at modeling let's make a cut right here now let's take let's select this and with control let's go all the way around this is super easy to select okay let's make an extrusion let's make an s very slight border here the z must stay at one okay and let's go and maybe 96 now this new border here i'm going to select it like this and let's make an extrude on z this is good enough a mesh normals outside or enemy okay let's go back to uv editing a to projection to update your uv mapping yeah. this is a bit better so now what i don't like is that i want that part to be darker so let's add a color hsv 0.5 yep okay but now i don't like okay maybe let's go at something bluer if possible okay and darker all right now this is also something similar to that so let's do an a select every node copy a delete goes black paste this has no uv let's go to uv edit let's try q projection a put it in place right there shading now there's something weird about this object okay it gets a very strong shadow for not a good reason honestly but i want to see if that comes from
that comes apparently from the environment because this is correct now and it's getting very strong shadows okay but let's say it's good so i want this to be a bit different so i'm going to use another texture here okay let's go with something like this not that big i want it smaller so let's go maybe at four here okay so let's go at 50. i want very small squares and yeah why not we'll see let's try to rotate this nah who knows let's go back at one and uh, i don't like it so let's remove this image and let's try to find something different some scratches maybe i get just the thing some some brass around here or some wood Well, then it's all about the ambience. So that's another step later in the work. Okay, leather, but I'm going to use that for. Oh, this nice rock. Very. This and this one is going to be lighter, I think. Like the details. Yeah, I'm liking the details. All right, so this is not too bad from a distance for a render. It's good. Okay, now this uh, will be okay. So we're going to do the same A delete B, the same nodes. I haven't worked yet on the metallic and on the roughness of all of these materials. So uh, maybe we'll keep pre uh, maybe we'll tweak that later and now here i want some leather or fabric leather it will be leather okay i want okay this has no uv let's do a q projection all right Jerry, we don't need, okay, this is a lot better, very complex UVs for our line of work, okay? Then it depends. For animation, sometimes, yes. Okay, so here, I don't like the proportion of the pattern that's happening there. Uh, let's try, okay, but maybe one five. That's a bit better. Let's try two. 175. Okay, one five still works. I don't see no line yet. Okay, we could rotate. Let's see if we can rotate. Uh, this is oh, oh, oh. Okay, the only bad thing is that it repeats there, but we could um Slightly rotate here and uh, maybe at one pre so the pattern doesn't show twice. Yes, with no rotation here. I love the cracks here and there. Okay, now let me see something. Let's try control A scale. Here also, scale, scale, 
scale, scale, and oh, I like it. scale. Not that much rotation, just detail on the rotation sometimes. Okay, so we have this. All right. Now we are going to remove the environment completely. And let's start working with the lights that I talked about right at the beginning. So here, emission, color, Uh, I said maybe blue. So let's do it blue. And emission 250. This is just a test. Okay, this is what we get. Let's go maybe less. So we have two neon lights. One at the bottom and one around. Okay. The one around is not blocked everywhere. Okay. So you should take that into account. But now what I'm going to do is that this one is going to be neon light. Neon light two. And now we can play with what's at work here with the colors, the mood, um, all the important things when creating renders because we can make a teal right here. So this solves much of the problem I had with this cylinder not getting lit by the environment at all. And we have all of that. I'm liking this pretty much. Obviously, later I will bring back the environment because it brings light to the gemstones and to the metal, etc., etc. But let's have a look at... Let's have a look at an area light from the front side light, area light. Let's rotate and this to project maybe some shadow of the ring on the wall. This could be very dramatically expressive. So this is my rectangle area light is with 50 and 10 it's just a test use the nodes at 320 and let's have a look at what happens with these settings this is way too strong way too strong uh it's pretty interesting though a bit rude a bit rude so okay the light should come rather right from here okay now Mathematics, uh, let's get zero here, minus 20 and 83 round. All right, okay, so we are getting some. So, obviously, this is way too big. Let's get three, okay, some shadow. That's what I'm talking about. This is really cool, but obviously, the strength that go at three, maybe. Okay, it also brings some nice shadows and details on the ring. So far, so good. But now we might need the environment. Let's go to 0.5 with the environment. Let's go at 0.2 with the environment. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to change some things. Is that? The bottom material, I want it lighter because we need more light down there. Just let me see what happens here on this cylinder, honestly. Just light sensitivity. Okay. I'm not very convinced of that part because. It gets a weird shadow, whatever. Okay, so I want that part lighter and the top. I want it 
darker. So here let's go at point two. All right, I think it's better. Right or low here, and this one. Uh -huh. Okay, this one. Uh, I want it darker too. Let's go point two. Okay, but I don't want any blue. <laughs> Everybody is with a blue hue. I don't want it that blue. Let's go one. I don't know if it changes anything. No. Let's go one for the leather. Are we? Maybe. Now this. Okay, here what I don't like is that it's. The detail is too small, I think. It's with point six, maybe point three. Well, let's get point seven. Okay, um, it's pretty nice. Let's bring the aerial light lower in strength no maybe stronger what I need maybe to change are my neon lights maybe this one okay this one maybe not that strong uh no, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. Okay, now let's try some metallicness here and there. This might be metallic in one. So it looks darker. And uh, maybe not that much bump. That one I wanted clean or at least one even on five. Now this has too much bevel. Okay, this is better. Something like this, sharper, something metallic here. That's nice. Now let's try also on the other items some metallic. Maybe 0.5 because that makes some richer and less roughness. It creates some reflections, and that's always very interesting for the details and the variations of the colors. Okay, the the bump maybe not that strong. Maybe three very slight. Okay, this is one here. Okay, the leather, metallic, much at one, value one then, and uh, maybe so it reflects more of the ring. It's richer for the color, for the composition. Okay, we have this. Now we're lacking a bit of dynamic, and this is because of the cylinder down there. Okay, but anyway, let's keep on until I get five. Just like this friend. Uh, point three, two point three, point three. Okay, and also the bump. What's the strength of the bump here and there? 0 0.03, 0 0.03, okay, let's have a look at this, it's interesting, okay, just some details I don't like, so, the cylinder here is, okay, so this comes apparently from a normal problem here, <laughs> okay, something very basic, you have to check everything. Oh, 
Okay, this is a bit better, I think. Okay, but anyway, I don't like that cylinder. It lacks details. So, what we're going to do is bring some decoration. Because there's a concept here. I have some plain background and surroundings. If you look, I just did... I only did a couple of borders, some lights, textures. It's pretty nice because the ring has a lot of decorations. So, I don't want to interfere much with that. But, now I think that, by example, the cylinder down there is uh, too boring. So, what I'm going to do on the cylinder, I'm just going to make some cuts. So let's go to edit. Let's make one here. Okay, let's make it here. And let's put maybe 10. Let's go to 12. Now, some of these I'm going to pull. Okay, Alt A. Let's go to vertex mode. Now, I just want to see that. Okay, not that one. I think it's this one. Okay, that one. And. Okay, so here I'm going to extrude S. Let's go at 1.12 and 1 on Z. Okay, and let's do another one right here, and that's why I did it numerically. Extrude S, 1.12, 1 on Z. Okay, not that one. I'm going to do the next one. So undo, let's do it here. Extrude S. 112, 1 on Z. This should solve that part of the cylinder. Um, but, oh yeah, this is interesting. But, uh, I need this friend UVs to be updated. So let's go at Q projection. Let's kill it again. Here, all right. Ah, but I lost the. Don't lose the proportion of your textures. So don't stretch the UV map. Most of the time, don't do it uh, on such small things. Okay, now the question is can the bevel do this? Because apparently, this is not beveling anymore. Okay, so we have to have a look at this. Okay, so geometry, no clamp overlap. And now we can do this. Okay, this is pretty good because it creates some imperfections okay so let's go at this this is a lot nicer there but i'm still going to add some decorations you're going to see that or some windows are we going to add windows well, we need particles, we need uh, some mist, some fog. Obviously, this is all obvious, super obvious in these kinds of projects with neon lights. Okay, here I just have some, also, maybe some issue with the... Okay, so let's check out the clamping also, and let's start... It is with 0.5. This is the same brand. So let's have a look at if this is better or not. Let's go to 1. Let's go to 0.1. Okay, so obviously 0.1 is not better. 
0.4. I'm looking especially at this edge down here. And uh, okay. So here also we could do something modeling here. Let's inset, extrude, inset, mm, not too much, and extrude, and maybe higher. This is just an idea. Okay, uh, this should be better. Yeah, it's a bit better. We have more shadows. This is a bit better. Okay, so also here, let's have a test. Okay, so let's go to layouts. Solid view. Let's make a cut here. Okay, now let's make an edge, but only upwards here. Extrude up 1.5. Now, this friend, I'm going to hide it because I think that we can do this by modeling also something and it's better for the texture okay so let's come here and okay here I'm going to have a problem though but anyway let's let's do that like that select around um, it's pretty good um, so now here I am going to extrude but this is pretty bad because it overlaps Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Okay. <laughs> okay, this is funny because it's a mistake. I don't know if I like it. Do I like it? No, I don't like it. So, we're going to correct. That's not such a big deal. Uh, now we need to take the vertices that are at the bottom here so all around this I'm going to go selecting uh no wait <laughs> where are you here these are overlapping so I need to move them up because they go up here and they need to merge they need to merge uh well let's go up anyway okay this is good. Yeah. Wasn't that hard. Exit edit mode. Camera view. Alright. So let's have a look at this. I need to update the UV map. This is a cube projection. Let's go to shading for a second. Okay, this is a bit better. Okay, now we are missing some things down here, down there, and down there. Modeling stuff still. Then we need some mist and some particles. Okay, so let's start with the modeling. I want some very easy things to be done here. But to do that, I need to close this friend. Okay, so let's go to edit mode. Here we're missing some people. We need you here complete this doesn't have to be perfect uh here and there okay i just want to close this as a solid uh around there let's extrude this on the z-axis now this with this so with shift this um bridge edge loops and let's close this f this f let's have a look at this orientation we're good now let's go to UV editing. A, this is a. Actually, let's do cube. No, sorry. Let's do a smart UV project. Okay. Should be nice. Let's see if it hasn't changed that much. Just check that. Oh, that's nice. Just a proportion on Z. I don't. Uh, I want less. Three, maybe. Is it? I don't know. It's maybe Y. Three or four. Or maybe I want more. Let's have a look at more. So we have, okay, and maybe this then at five, seven, eight. That's pretty nice. Okay, okay, like this. Now, I just want to remove some cubes, make some niche. So let's bring a mesh cube like this. Maybe not that big. Um, there. Okay, maybe a bit smaller. Let's do it 
bit beveled twice smooth the material is the same as this one surrounding top right there now let's center this friend uh, sorry zero here okay now control a all transforms i'm just going to do shift d and a rotation on z here let's go at 22.5 shift d r z 45 degrees shift d y and rz 45 degrees okay all these friends control j and this friend needs a boolean fast difference from these guys move it before the bevel okay let's have a look at that with this shading in accuracy um okay here the thing is that the cubes so the cubes are all these cubes all right so let's remove the boolean for a second i don't like the depth of these cubes okay. so let's do it with the array a so now here the difference is that i don't want you to that deep i don't want you to be very deep here okay and let's make a shift s group sub selected add empty plane axis let's make an array uh, for these friends 45 degrees that's eight times let's try eight Control a all transforms based on empty right here and the empty needs to rotate on the z-axis 45 degrees just like this okay i think this is good enough that's enough ah, or you know what maybe let's go at 60 degrees i don't know 30 degrees and then we go at 12. let's try this boolean pass difference there okay now like this and here i need to check auto smooth uh nope so let's try a remesh it's low here we don't have that many faces okay this is correct let's go it smooth okay not changing much let's have a render preview okay the remesh is failing and this is happening here who's causing the problem the bevel is causing the problem and um yeah so maybe not that much or let's go at this much more okay so let's remove this and we're going to change a couple of things on the shading i'm going to bring some bevel let's try some bevel right here instead of the bevel of the geometry let's make it on the shader 24 samples 0.2 now i don't like the metallic there or i want more roughness here it's quite warm 0.7 0.5 point four point five and uh oh six on the bump now let's have a look at okay i don't like i don't like on the inside but maybe it's cool on the outside yep let's go higher i don't sorry but you you now you're still with the array let's move everybody up oh, it doesn't work like that. here or we do this like that so now let's try a lot more okay that works this has bevel what we can do though is then a boolean union with this one uh let's do it exact doesn't like it because of the bevel again so let's remove the bevel uh no this is worse Okay. don't join anybody there okay let's make an alt c let's erase no. let's erase those we don't need there they're making bad reflections and shadows okay this might be just or maybe or maybe this is just an idea but i don't want them to come out of that border i made this is pretty good apparently these are just tests always test your ideas they might be good they might be bad you don't know until you know double border 
Okay. Um, okay, just reorienting that. Okay, what I don't like is that it's interfering with the shadow of the ring, and I don't like that. Um, that's why I'm testing some things. And, uh, ah, I have another concept though. Is that any good? Cursor. The other way around when the origin tree cursor. What happened there? Origin tree cursor. Is that any good? Okay, this might be pretty good. Especially if we use some mist. Okay, I'm not very convinced of this yet. Proportion. Still not nice here. Okay, I think it's better. Anyway. Alright. Okay, stay like this. Or maybe even less. So more is less, alright? Okay, we have... Okay, this is nice. Anyway. Okay. Alright, so... I'm going to add yet another decoration. So let's go with the, go with the cube again. Size three, four, maybe four. Let's center this. Okay, this friend. Well, in fact, I just want some displacement, you know. So here, yeah, this friend, we're going to subdivide like 11 times or something that works now displacement let's load an image and i have exactly something i prepared here this okay so it's on the y-axis on the x-axis on the z-axis it's on none of these axes let's go at object let's create a cube and that cube what number are you this cube so this cube is going to be placement for my friend and let's go at rgb now the one that needs to rotate is you uh maybe let's go at okay that's the correct direction now strength point one and uh, we're going to make the cube the size of the cube okay and now anyway so this might go the other way it is minus zero two something like that and i need more subdivisions it's one more okay and maybe some smooth at 50 and 20 at 10 okay that's not too bad but we are losing too much thickness so this friend might go further <laughs> that's funny okay let's go at 20 maybe 20 is really nice now what's the material so obviously this friend okay let's make this to a mesh so now we have nice molduras. So what we could do is go to edit mode and uh, correct this all by ourselves. It's not too bad. Make them quite stronger at the back. Something like this. SY0. This is good. This is uh, uh almost good <laughs> and uh let's just bigger then much bigger here okay everybody's happy now let's go to let's go let's go to uv editing let's make this a q projection and let's go to 
materials i want the same materials as this uh this is uh surroundings okay surrounding i think uh the same all right now we need uh, origin geometry we need this somewhere here okay what's all the fuzz okay so this this i'd like to multiply also so we have an array let's try 24 times based on the empty should be should be good uh this is a bit slower than expected based on the empty uh manipulative here control a all transforms okay but empty is moved so control so let's, let's see what with this friend so now we have these decorations there do they look nice that's the big question that's the only question do they bring something interesting yes or no oh but they might be made of gold let's have a go at gold it's just an idea i think it's all right but maybe we do need another material i don't know yet i don't know why they're so why are you so dark now the orientation is correct yep mm. let me see if maybe some smooth beforehand there again let's just try 20. okay this happens but that's not too bad because anyway i can put them a lot more inside the wall there's still some margin here let's have a go at this do you look better with more smooth so i'm not answering yet okay i understand the problem you do need it some other materials here so let's call that molduras las molduras let's remove the smooth I, I think it's not necessary but it depends there's the metallic effect on okay problem is indeed okay so there's that metallic on that material that i need to change okay so let's check that out the roughness etc etc so no metallic more roughness and also this is too dark uh, i don't exactly why should it be that dark anyway let's compensate that on the material and uh that's okay apparently let's try okay so here we have also a an amount of bases and vertices that is too bad on this object so we are going to make it out c then we don't need that many objects anyway so let's remove those that are out of field these are millions and millions of vertices but let's go to edit mode it's going to take some seconds right here should get there okay we're here and we're going to erase that but then anyway we're going to decimate the rest so let's go there select these brands let's say goodbye to these loved friends some people don't stay that long in your life some people stay forever great now we have this oh but this is funny why do we have and also they had there were duplicates so that was very heavy now let's check a decimate two millions 
Um, let's go at point three. This is going to take a moment. Okay, so the decimate cut that you have is good enough for these details. It's already quite much, but well, necessarily for a detailed uh, background, uh, we do need uh, quite that many faces. Otherwise, well, simply don't add these details. But yet, I still want some medieval look. I think I'm going to copy them above also to the top wall. And uh, then we'll work on the fog, the mist. It's always hard to work with mist and fog and all of that because it tends to hide things that you would like to show. Okay, now let's move these guys here too. And uh, yeah, but let's wait. Let's work also still on the material of these guys. Yep, because you know, it's not too bad. Okay, there's something I like to change. I think the scale is a bit off. Let's go 975. And also on this one, 9, 975, please. 985. Keep them square. I think it's better like this. Okay, we have that. Can we? Okay, let's put that to the 3D cursor. And let's rotate them. Maybe it's more interesting if they're not exactly aligned. Okay, so let's go to minus 15. So they're position now. The material that's top surrounding. Let's try the same here. Especially for the color. I don't necessarily want. Okay, these darker there. That's pretty good. And uh, let's still move them up, maybe. Okay. This. So. Mm -mm -mm. Or maybe let's go full metallic. Because I don't like the fact that we don't get the color there. Okay. Let's have a look. Okay, let's put the geometry, well, the origin to geometry. It's going like nine. They're too compressed. Okay, anyway, it's the colors I don't like. That's not working with the colors. It's not. So let's try metallic zero, pillar one. The roughness at um, that was the reason. Do I like them now? Do I like them now? Okay, we still have too much. I don't like the the surface. It's too crude. It's too strong. Let's try to smooth this. Can we get this? Okay, now this has no UV map. That's also... Ah, that's the reason. So A. U projection. Okay. Let's keep it like that. Let's go to the brothers and sisters up there. A. U projection. And let's go to shading. Let's try to set the same material up here and up there, but maybe we're going to work with a color instead of working with that texture. Let's work with some color. So maybe, yes, maybe. Okay, there was something here. Okay, we have this. So maybe, ah, oh, that's interesting. Yes, interesting. Some type. Let's try some enameled ceramic for this. 
as a concept. So let's go metallic a bit. I don't like the color yet. It's starting to be a bit more interesting. And let's try some beveling here. Add. Yeah, I like it. I like these details. Yeah, I have an idea. Let's put the origin back to the tree cursor. Let's try to add more. Yeah, let's try to go up out of range. Okay, this. Let's try to make it a border for these friends. This one is too thick. Uh, origin to 3D cursor so we can expand it and move it right there. It's still too much on the Z axis. A small edge for these friends. Ah, okay, so we are too far out. I don't know, it was really that far away. So why is that so far away? That's pretty good. Let's have a look at this new border friend. The render preview. Okay, I'm starting to like that pretty well. So, never mistake, sometimes when you see all the surroundings, you lose focus of the composition of only the render part, okay? So, but anyway, let's try the same process here. Oh, wait, in fact, let's go to minus 15, okay? So, also more decorations here and um, okay what i want to try is to bring this maybe closer there and here or not oh ah, it's pretty good okay um i like the material up there i don't like the material down here because these ones down no. <laughs> I like the name there. Um, that was meant to be down. Because there's up and down. Okay, so this I want to be reddish. Reddish. Oh, that's fun. But everybody's going to be reddish. Okay. That might be better. And uh, then I want them lighter. Okay. All right. Now the question is, can I remove the transmission? Okay. Now maybe these will be better down here instead of up there because um, I did not curve the ceramics. They're not curved. All right. So it shows a bit and i'm not sure that i like that okay this friend is not centered origin to 3d cursor because the cursor is centered is it no it's not uh, that's not um second. There it is. but obviously this is not circular anymore anyway let's make it bigger and let's try to center that on our own are we pretty good i think Jeez. okay details always the details all right the details okay and that's what we have pretty well for now okay so till here we're good with the modeling i guess we can check that with the pass partout here at zero or one is this good very interesting so we are going to okay i want to create a sphere add mesh sphere with a 30. i want to make it big like this anyway this should only um 
I think just for the camera shade smooth and this is going to be a mist and obviously magical mist the name says it all okay so here obviously it's a principal volume uh, shader principal volume and it goes into volume this is perfect we're done we're out of bottles <laughs> would be so easy almost though okay so we want some mcgrav texture plug into the density and we are going to multiply that the shader uh, convert your math obviously we are not oh, this is adding this is weird adding should not make that okay so multiply or divide it's the same and divide multiply by 01 okay but now let's have a look at our okay here we can see when we move uh okay that's not too bad let's try maybe one for the scale i oh, know sorry eight more but also uh, let's maybe add a noise texture um before or after depends so scale one detail 10 roughness one distortion five okay so not there uh, maybe <laughs> that's funny okay that's not how it works though <laughs> let's try to plug it in into the uh, vector so i don't know if it's color or factor yeah, anyway i don't like it but what we're going to add is a input texture coordinates generated in some vector thing here and uh, the scale so scale on z one three okay something something like that is a bit better so now let's see that into action so obviously it's still a is what i was saying <laughs> at the beginning uh it hides more than it shows and that's not so nice but here then we might work with the brightness and contrast uh with the contrast that's what one uh and maybe the problem is the size of the sphere is it well, let's try anyway to do it a bit more stretch uh, up maybe the scale at 13 okay it might be going somewhere let's go let's try more okay now okay so let's try let's get zero is with one five and let's multiply by your two so we can see the smoke a bit more yep now it's the placement what we still can do is that S Y. It said Y. S Y. Let's compress that and maybe send it a bit to the background. So it means let's move this. Okay, we're having some mists. Let's go to 168 here. yeah and now also what we could try well let's go to 231 okay so this is 
unless we can also obviously put some gradient okay so let's add a ramp ramp color well gradient texture we're gonna need it uh color ramp thank you here so we want some reddish and we want some bluish and here we go bluish so maybe more orange we'll see let's plug that in it should not work really well yet but uh okay here we can't really see much but what we're going to do uh, let's plug in the gradient okay so we have it goes from okay this is perfect it goes from left to right we can see the colors already so let's rotate this it's easier and trying to adapt so 75 and oh, sorry 75 and we're going to go up okay now we want this and we want to compress this so let's also rotate here. Let's go to 90. Okay, we have this. Should be. Right, let's see if we're on screen still. Maybe not. Do we have. Do we have some colored. Okay, but let's try. Because I don't even know if we're. Yeah. And this is not too bad. We are. So we don't touch. The... now I guess we should touch the entire zone so let's try this we'll see the amount of details are they any good maybe not get okay, a scale let's go back at 16 okay let's go back to 75 so it's more like ah, okay it's starting to be pretty good but now for the colors okay this is this is interesting i won't be able to compress that that much so what i'm going to do is bring the blue closer the only bad thing is that it goes too much through the white okay this should be this should be better okay we have this now <laughs> now let's okay so this is not participating in the shadows maybe it could be nicer let's have a try at this so it goes on the reflections also okay so now obviously the density at point two or point one well let's go at point let, let's put it stronger i just want to see Okay, maybe I could change my idea and bring this down here. How does that look? So now the scale is not so nice. So maybe it's six. The contrast is not that nice either. And we have this so what about the blue mist maybe only blue mist okay let's put 12 again let's put 1.5 1. 1. again and let's go at uh, 0. 0.05 0. 0.01 maybe more contrast yet still because we just want a okay, this is starting to be interesting and even more if I bring the red 
somewhere in the scope there to reinforce okay, let's have a look okay so let's go there and it's really nice that we can see the colors so is it better or maybe better the other way around there and red up there what did you think okay this is pretty interesting and maybe let's rotate this so here we can play with the placement of the, the smoke of the mist okay let's put more contrast but more density and yeah let's go maybe in more detail and okay this is pretty nice to make it softer yes it's interesting but the color range is not so cool let's have some blue we can always tweak the saturation oh, so nice okay but 0 0.01 pretty nice the ceramics down there they're too light are you too light people yes you're way too light is good 1.5 one i don't want to see them that much they're just details the important thing is the ring now these guys they're too bright too no they're too saturated honestly 1.1 and not that bright either okay do did i keep okay we're not going to work with that concept of transmission right there so let's go with some metallic again a roughness five now what's up <laughs> ah but it's because it's a color so color bluish uh, yep but much more point five this is pretty nice let's check again these friends transmission okay do they have Okay, now they're still too bright. And get the mist metallic point five roughness zero. Oh well wait, point three, point three. All right. And we need some particles. So the particles uh it's not that hard in fact okay this friend just move it at viewport display wire or even bounce we'll bounce okay. and this sphere is called fog good now i want this so this is reddish okay so this is going to emit particles plus now we're going to make that uh, lifetime 50 okay so what we're going to need is uh, a field of gravity negative and let's start okay let me check the source is the faces yes and let's go center geometry 
good school bike for one. It's so funny, image from faces. <laughs> Yep, that's what we have. So, who's bugging here? Do we have modifiers? Okay, well, let's apply this. Okay, was that was making the problem. Okay, okay this is great for now. We're just also going to give it a bit of fantasy. So, we need some forces. And we need some forces on the boy and uh, where's the physics? So let's go everybody at point one, point one, point one. Let's have a look at what happens. Okay, but the lifetime. So let's go at 0 0.02, 0 0.02, 0 0.02. Obviously lifetime, let's go at 100. Lifetime and let's go. Yeah, that's pretty nice for what we need. Okay, now we need to create a spark or something. Uh, let's create let's create a little spark. Add mesh sphere. But let's go like at eight. Yep. Like this shade smooth. Uh, let's put it somewhere far away. Spark. There. So now, yeah, I wanted, I wanted quite further somewhere there. Okay, what do we have? We have something like this. Is pretty cool. We'll see. Anyway, we'll bake that. Okay, so these guys now the particles render. Well, the cache will be to disk, obviously. Um, render, render. The render you can put that after baking, but I prefer to see it now. And now that sphere, it's the only sphere, so let's keep it as sphere. And yeah, let's go back again. Uh, there's more calculation so there's when you make it live and it takes time to to move or something to happen is that the computer is calculating so now scale 0 0.5 0 0.1 0 0.15 i guess and variation at least 0.75 that's pretty nice and now it's all about well maybe bigger okay now it's all about shading of this frame because you can make some color variations okay it's pretty interesting yeah okay anyway the sphere material because it's on the sphere beware because that's the particle so this is going to emit lights. Yep. Yellowish. Ah, and maybe you know what? That's already good enough. Yeah. Maybe stronger lights in the fog. This is always so nice. And here I might try something with the decimate. Because to make the shape a bit sharper like this like if it were coming from the fire down below right there okay but then we would need what we need then is to make some rotations because now they're not rotating so we need to ask we need to ask uh let's go at rotation yes and randomize 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 0.5 and point well depends what's the topmost it's like the 20 and let's see if they rotate now 
do my particle friends rotate do you rotate okay so we need to bake let's bake that and let's have a look are they rotating they are not rotating delete bake and we need some velocity object uh let's try one three one five one three what's up okay let's try that um um the object rotation yes They should rotate now. Let's try to bake this. Bakes really fast. Okay, yeah. That's that's okay. They're not all in the same direction. So now I have this um this sphere. I can rather try to displace the sphere with any image. Okay, that's great. Is, yeah this is great perfect perfection now let's go to shading because i still want to have a color variation uh, for the color so i'm going to take the fog all around there there copy let's go to the sphere yep you can affect the color by position so even if your color is always the same on well actually this is already working depending the, on the orientation <laughs> this is great <laughs> of the orientation of the and you see that i'm going to add a very strong saturation okay and this is already great in fact so here we could also have a go at transmission maybe one and well depends or alpha point three or three so it depends how strong we want that to to be okay now let's have a look at yeah this is great because exactly because of uh, their orientation so that's why the rotation was important because we can change and let's make this maybe splin it makes it smoother generally or well, not even so let's make ease then I want more yellow in fact like 50 50 it's pretty nice uh okay so it's funny because it gives the color variation just because of the rotation <laughs> that's nice but in fact um we could try add particle information and instead of that so we can come here come here you node so we can try random okay <laughs> that's good enough i prefer the random because otherwise we had those ugly lines over the particles honestly so this is nice now i don't need maybe that much saturation one is but two will be pretty cool 1.5 i guess but maybe i don't want blue there i want maybe red because honestly i want them to come out of the fire so we get kind of this 
add the funnier then maybe white here and oh sorry uh plus plus that so this one may be yellow more and this one red or reddish reddish there uh here and maybe whiter than uh here uh, maybe white white so let's go one everybody here so we get kind of this but now we can also uh, play with the alpha depending on the particular information like size or speed let's have a go let's have a size but we need to multiply that uh, with the math converter here uh let's go ahead and multiply one okay let's see maybe velocity ah that's funny okay there O one mm -hmm. location. This is too stat. I know, but wait. <laughs> okay, this is there or random, basically random, random. But let's go at one, and uh, it's not that random, but it's interesting and. The size of the particles I want to vary. Okay, so the scale it maybe go at 15 and more variation here. And then maybe maybe maybe, maybe I want more. I don't know. Maybe let's go. Okay, so instead of the alpha, we can also vary the, the emission strength. This is quite fun. Yeah, yeah, this is, yeah. <laughs> Just because. Uh... Okay, this is random. Let's try age. Okay. Well, I th or index maybe. Okay, so random. We can multiply random and lifetime maybe. And we get this. Or just that. Okay, but this is great. Now just the size. Again. Um, 0.25. Yeah. No saturation, maybe. I want more saturation and also maybe more here. That's pretty nice. And we can try to find a better frame because I don't like that white star there okay whatever okay so now just the mist the fog the fog we can play with uh, alpha transparency and position also if necessary Details maybe 20. Now the scale, let's have a look. 
we we were at 12 so maybe here but not that much contrast <laughs> Yeah, you, you need to play to see what you're dealing with. Three. Five was good. Twelve was good. Uh, okay, yeah. It's also working like on the contrast. Well, not the contrast, but distribution of the mouse graph so one word bit okay now the question do i want really a well let's try white mist let's try white mist somewhere there okay now do we need this to be on the shadows i don't know it's hard to say Hard to say. Yeah, a very slight foggy mist is all right. A very slight. We still could try to make it longer here. Bring that here. It's quite interesting. Let's try to find nice rotation and uh, the question remains who should be at what level do we want our mist coloration maybe there Okay, now I just want to try what happens with other colors, like green or this. That would be like a toxic ambient, which is not so cool for like a ring with hearts. <laughs> so, or we could try black. Hmm, is that interesting? Is that interesting? I say, I say no. Okay, what about something more red and even dark red, like dark red and a stronger orange? Just really like fire okay so i've decided that blue is going to stay up there now how dark is good so this is going to be like this but not so high so we get some 
Now also the rotation is go back to zero. Okay, this seems pretty nice. But then that and let's have a look at the strength here. Uh, let's try 50. More saturation here. Okay, let's try more variations because it's random. So let's go at different colors here and there. Okay, he liked that position quite well. Good, so also will the fog cast shadow? I think yes for the quality of the render. Okay, that's pretty nice. What I still miss here is some deformation. Let's have a go at this here. Ha! Huh. That's funny. I kind of like it. That's just affecting the color. So what I need is some noise texture on the mapping. Or do something to the mapping. Okay, that's a bit better. So now scale of this, big or small? I think small. Uh, okay, it makes more like hume likes. But then we should expand somehow. Woohoo, this is starting to be. So what we could do is maybe come back to a normal scale here. So we have some spheres there. Maybe not that small the noise there. Maybe four details, 10, distortion, 5, 0.5. Okay, we got this. Let's rotate. What do we get? Yep. So now the gemstones just have some. We have to change this uh, lighter. You go at a lighter orange here, please. Okay. So this is great. This is great for a final render. It's going to be. 4k yes obviously so let's prepare the render uh what number of frame is this one let's go 140 maybe let's have a look at this <laughs> with everybody please that's pretty nice camera position right there yes so now also we can work uh, on. Let's go at noise. Okay, let's check the volume subdivisions. Uh, the step rate higher. Okay, let's try 0 0.5. That 0.5 also in the viewport. We, we might get better curves on the fog. Obviously, it makes the render f slower, a lot slower. But, and also, I need to find a position. 320. Because I want more fog. Obviously, I can use some um, Gradients on the alpha, by example, to remove the fog in the middle and things like that. But Cherry, I prefer to keep it simple and play with simpler things. 
you get basically the same effect because I can get fog on the sides like this and not damage on the middle. Woo, this is very lovely. This is this is great. Okay, so we're done now. We got frame 140. So this is no animation. So then I like to put just that frame on on render. So if by mistake I hit render animation well it should not happen but anyway okay so we have this and you know what something i'm looking at that i don't like at all these guys they're geometrically too simple so i'd like to push that away somehow yes so it should not touch that. Um, let me see. I want more details on these friends, but, 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 they're a bit too simple. So I need to, in, to find a, a way to work. That's why the front faces might get an inset. So let's go individual. Yes, perfect. Uh, let's try inset. Yes. Let's try extrusion and scale. No, this is sadly not working. So wait, that now extrusion and let's go push back. Now inset again uh a slight inset there and extrude back to us like this now they have a problem on the this shading okay i need to check if by any chances yeah this is not changing much should uh, okay anyway let's go back and have a look at this okay and i need to actualize i think the mapping if they have any well that's okay i might think just gotta have a look at the render preview more of the details I don't know, are these guys smooth enough? Nice mapping. Yeah, I don't like these. Okay, let me see all those ceramics. I don't. Okay, so let's go at 0.05. And let's get point three. Okay. How about that smooth again? Because I'm not convinced here. It's what ten. And a stronger bump then. Yeah. <laughs> okay, roughness at point one. Or even at point five. Now the distance, maybe you'll go at fifty for this. Oh, that's that's what I needed. Okay. So this is still something I can check. Okay, there are some small details that are not. Okay, let's go for the shading, uh, hard normals. Yes, 
This solves that border problem there. These guys, they don't have... Okay, so these guys, I'm still going to edit... that face at the center or the scale on Z can't even see <laughs> Z okay here so they just complete okay this is a bit better not yet okay i think like this i think that's better okay so uh but we only see two of these blocks i thought we were seeing more that's all right That's all right. Okay, now maybe this guy. Let's make a copy here. Just because, yes. And if these people, do they have pebbles? I want to just to check the edges. This is pretty good. Okay, also I don't like that we're not seeing that's weird Ah, they understand. Okay, I have an idea. I'm going to stack a couple of these because they're still too boring. Here. Here and I don't know if we need that one. I don't think so. But then for the shadows. Okay, we have this. Alright. And this is a lot better. And very good. Just one thing that we can do still is we can add a second layer of fog just for the bottom and use Shift D and rotate this brand. <laughs> and that's funny because that doesn't change it's okay so the gradient is not changing depending on But I'm going to give it another material, I guess. I can get more fog down below. So let's go to shading and let's have a look at what we can get out of that fog.
copy as number two. So we don't want any, we don't want blue, we want kind of this. I'm going to exaggerate the density a lot. Wait. Yep, that, that's the density. Where are you, Fug? I think he's out. Okay. <laughs> so um we have this I just center this let's center this okay this looks a bit more like fire <laughs> that's funny but that's not good honestly it's just funny because that's too rude it's not subtle at all so i can change i can change this <laughs> okay there Question is maybe let's remove the noise. This one, we don't want any noise, but then we don't want that much um, that much density. put it into place so like that but then scale 25 surely okay zero obviously at three i don't know if we win anything do we win something Ah. Hmm. It's warmer with this down there. Huh. Yes. Okay, so five again. Maybe let's do put the noise, but uh, very small. So scale maybe five. No, that's too weird. So at ten and two. Twenty. Okay, that would be this. Uh, here I would need some work on the alpha but it's very interesting no sir i don't want to change render type i just want come on s z we are not working get that later okay this amount of fog Point oh two. That's interesting. Oh, wow, that's funny.
Okay, let's go at this. So on um, scales, eight. Oh wow. This is very interesting. Okay, so what I can do here to make that very interesting is that I'm going to use a, a gradient but uh, for the alpha so it's control maybe black and white uh i don't remember what stuff anyway so alpha to ah, actually we're going to multiply so let's color multiply here and to see what's going on we can work here it should work uh apparently it's coming from the side Um, wait, 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 or the factor. So, oh, but wait, what's going on here? <laughs> I know, this is multiplying with this. Okay, sorry. It was just that. I had a mouse grab on the gradient. I thought it was a texture position. Okay, so now we can make this and it makes the fog transparent as it goes up. So I can control because I don't want the fog to cover the base of the ring or anything like that. I just want the f well that fire to to look like fire at the bottom near that light. And we could uh, uh, yeah, this is great. So now. If I remove that, if I remove that, I don't like the scene anymore. <laughs> it looks dead. It looks dull. It looks boring. Now with the new fog that makes some fire at the bottom, it, it's really alive really alive yes so with the particles and everything this is great and something that i want to mention now that i'm done obviously you know maybe tomorrow or whatever i work on that but during the entire process i forgot entirely the ring the jewel and uh it's exactly how it's meant to be. On one side, I'm a jewelry designer and a jeweler. And in my field, people only care about the ring, the metal, the gemstones, and the design of the ring. These clients, that world only cares about the jewel. Designing the jewel, manufacturing the jewel, the ergonomy of the jewel, the astonishing design, the attractiveness, the sexiness, the price, the weight, 
etc etc all inside the jewelry business the jewelry world the jewelry history etc etc but here i'm doing 3d and i become a 3d artist and the problem is that i need to forget where i come from and behave and think as a painter again as a painter as as an artist and i'm glad that i'm able to do that in 3d because that's why i'm going back to 3d again to my artistic life again and that's why i mainly stopped teaching especially to beginners i only teach to advanced people with a lot of experience in different fields because I have better things to do like this all right so obviously it takes a lot of time to create interesting renders but when it's achieved and I think today we achieved that it's always worth it because it break because it breaks walls it pushes boundaries it creates new horizons and inspirations that are totally out of the field of the jewelry business and thanks to blender by example i came back to life and i'm coming back to life in these areas and this is great this is life this is we're here to enjoy life. We're here to enjoy and, and, and learn and share and inspire. So my work beyond really teaching and sharing was more like I do my thing and I inspire people and people love that. It's the best I can do uh, and totally that. So I know there are many things I do not explain during the tutorials or videos but there's a lot to grasp, there's a lot to eat for your soul, <laughs> for your heart, for your brain, for your knowledge, for your feelings and all of that, to see how this gets done, okay? So, uh, as always, uh, be nice to people, be nice to animals, be nice to the planet. Take care and see you soon. Okay.